Welcome to the Switch Click Podcast, episode 54. Today we'll be discussing the casting announcement for the Mario movie that's releasing next year. We'll also give our own theories and fan castings for the characters that we want to see. My name is Dakota, and today I'm joined by Tyler. Hello. And Nathan. Hello. So, yeah, uh, that happened. <laughs> they just... For some reason, during the direct, they announced the castings of the voice actors that are going to be voicing the Mario and Friends cast. Um, yeah, it kind of felt left field, out of left field when you think about it. Yeah, having that in a Nintendo Direct is odd, but it also have, probably has the most eyes to get to it. Yeah, with uh, Mr. Miyamoto coming in. His uh, translator was also kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, they announced that the movie is going to be coming out uh, holiday 2022, which actually is a pretty good date. I thought it was going to come out 2023. Um, but also the fact that we're going to get a Mario movie before we got the Minecraft movie is crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane. <laughs> but I guess Minecraft has yeah. been stuck in development hell for so long. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie. <laughs> Can they cancel that? I'm not sure. I don't think it's been properly canceled. Now, who is Mario? Not Chris Martinet. <laughs> uh, oh no, Italian guy, right? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, Robert De Niro. I don't know if he's Italian. Yeah, uh, a real Italian. Yeah, oh, okay. My God. What about what about um, I don't know the actor's name. Um, I don't know, but it has to be an Italian person, right? Right? Oh yeah, definitely, one hundred percent. Oh, okay, that's good to hear. <laughs> Who is it? Uh, um, it's Chris Pratt. Oh, I didn't know he was Italian. <laughs> <laughs> He's oh. not. <laughs> he oh, is. Um, uh, he is um, American pure blood. <laughs> yeah, American <laughs> pure blood who listens to eighties music. Um, yeah. After pushing that for so much, they announced that Chris Pratt will be voicing Mario. Um, and there is an inside joke on our Discord server where we count the number of days that we can't believe that Chris Pratt is Mario. Oh my gosh, yeah. Um, each time I think about this movie, I, I'm, I'm somewhat scarred, and there's like so many theories in my head of what's going to happen in this movie because Chris Pratt is Mario. <laughs> so scared to think what could happen. They also announced the other actors, um, but I think the least surprising is... Uh, the voice of Princess Peach was uh, Anya Taylor Joy. Okay. Um, well, obviously, I think that's a um, good choice. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, that's Queen's Gambit name and uh, <laughs> New Mutants. Yeah, New oh, Mutants. Yeah. That's that's um, why did a Russian accent in that movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have. Ne- I still haven't watched it to completion. It's not very good. Not very good. I, it. I will it's, eventually. Though. Thankfully, it's short. But I think my own Anya Taylor Joy. My only problem is she doesn't have a very distinct no, voice. No, she's kind she of a very generic. distinct face. It's really, it's really generic. That's not gonna. It doesn't really come across in voice acting. So, and whereas you have to be fair, Princess Peach doesn't have very much of a personality. So it's, it's all but then good. compared to Chris Pratt, who is pretty much trying to be funny in every movie. Yeah, well, he's okay in the Lego Movie, but he is just doing his voice. So he's going to put in an Italian accent. Uh, so how much do you want to bet he has an Italian accent? What, what are the chances? Oh, yeah. uh, the I think, chances that he puts the I think it's more on? likely that he'll have like the Brooklyn slash Italian accent from like the uh, Super Mario oh, World animated yeah. show. That's, that's, that, that could be a possibility. Instead oh, of the, Yahoo, yeah, I'm a Mario! It'll be like, yo, I'm a Mario! <laughs> yeah. <he's- laughs> I'm walking in! <laughs> If, if, hey, if Luigi, is, you're gonna get that pizza. If he for is me. A, if he is New York, like true New Yorker Mario, then that be that be interesting. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be too faced by that. The fact that his brother was cast Hello. as for Charlie Day, he's Who? mainly in uh, sitcoms. Uh, sitcoms. Oh boy. Yeah, like his main thing is it's always sunny in Philadelphia with true Mario. Man. That sounds. Vita. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> would have been a fun casting, and not normal guy. Like I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think Chris Pratt's just a boring choice. <laughs> yeah, 
It's like the most normal guy ever. At least if it was Robert De Niro, that doesn't make any sense, but it'd be interesting. Instead, we have, instead <laughs> we have Star Lord and as Mario. I think it's also interesting that uh, I saw online where yes, the meme was a black and white footage of a top. 50 most popular actors with a random actor, a random Mario character name on the bottom of the screen. Um, <laughs> but a lot of them could be believable. <laughs> um, and I also noticed that most like casual audiences didn't even know that a Mario movie was coming out. But once they announced these things, you people, yeah, you'd be surprised. Um, oh they were actually interested in the oh, yeah. movie because okay. of Chris Pratt. <laughs> You don't want him on that freaking MCU. Yeah, he's just straight up popular because of that. Robert yeah. Downey Jr. is Monkey <laughs> Kong. <laughs> Things against the wall. Pair an MCU actor with a Mario character, and you you get well. We already have two Marvel actors in the Illuminations Mario. Movie. Right when they announced Chris Pratt, I was like, if you announce uh, Scarlett Johansson as Peach, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not gonna. Ooh. I'm not gonna. I'm Honestly, not watching it. <laughs> Uh, if it's just full yeah, of Marvel uh, cast, if it's just I, full of Marvel cast, then I didn't even consider not... Scarlett Johansson Peach. I'm so happy for Anya Taylor yeah, I mean, Joy right now. But remember, she's also <laughs> anyway from a Marvel movie, just a little more crappier than Chris Pratt's. Well, it's barely a Marvel. Barely movie. a Marvel. Yeah, her career movie. started and ended with one movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Now uh, we're forgetting. So who was next? That was we're sure. forgetting about one of the most important castings. Jack Black mm. as Bowser. <laughs> Jack. This Jack is, is the Black best as idea for Mario ever. <laughs> it's so good. It's it's honestly my fears for Chris Pratt go out the window. It's the like it's on the same the moment, level as Jim Carrey, Doctor Eggman. Moment, <laughs> He's going to carry the whole movie on his back. Was that was that supposed to be a bad pun? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I, I don't know what I said. That was, he was a supposed pun. to carry it on his back. Carry, carry the movie. <laughs> Oh, that would be funny. That's actually what I meant the whole time. I'm glad you caught on. <laughs> it's, I think it's a perfect casting because I can totally picture in my head an entire scene with Jack Black in like Bowser animation. Yeah, that, that actually, that, that's actually oh, yeah. viable. And maybe if you like yeah. deepen the voice of him a bit, you might have to edit some of it to be more of like how we sound like Bowser. He's really yeah, deep and like honestly, I I, much. I think I think Jack Black is good enough in voice acting. Hmm. Was Bowser gonna have a musical number? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> that plays the sax boom. Oh, I'd hope so. <laughs> this is just all of a sudden a musical. <laughs> All of a sudden, a musical where where you have Bowser singing and playing the sax boom, which takes years. Yeah, I, master, I years would to master. love, even if it's just a joke, <laughs> even if it's just a joke. I would love Jack Black to at least start singing like a Disney "I Want" song about Princess Peach. Oh <laughs> like it, it's like a or like a Gaston on like to the, with the style of like Gaston or I don't know, shiny even. It's just like a. About how he want how much he wants Princess Peach, and then it's an Illumination movie, so he gets like cut off halfway through. Bowser, uh, Chris Pratt's at the door. He wants you. <laughs> Chris Pratt's at the door. Chris Pratt's at the door. <laughs> Not Mario. Chris Pratt. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, straight it's, up. It's, it's actually just Chris Pratt. Just, just Chris Pratt. Not even Mario. Just straight up Chris Pratt. Honestly, I think the the next one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, the next one is kind of the other casting choice that I dislike that much <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Rogan, Donkey Kong? <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not really kind of fun like, you know i don't really i'm i'm, I'm not against, I'm not against it. it it's just it's there. weird it's just because he happened. normally he normally makes like adult comedies am i wrong uh well he was in monsters versus aliens and a bunch of other dreamworks stuff oh yeah he was Bob, so... right with that <laughs> iconic laugh <laughs> which totally fits with donkey kong <laughs> oh it it like unless they play Donkey Kong as like a serious villainous threat. Oh, shoot, he's the perfect uh, Donkey like, Kong. Uh... If they play Donkey Kong a goofy way, so Seth Rogen is like a really good choice. I don't remember who it is. Who Cranky Kong? They did show it off. Uh, Cranky so, Kong is who's related? Fred Armisen. He's also in a bunch of sitcoms. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Cra- like they're now related to. Uh, I think for Seth Rogen, it wasn't like a choice of him talking because I don't think Donkey Kong's going to talk much. 
he'll be no, he'll he's do just gonna the be iconic. Uh, 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 what is the, the, the shrug? The <laughs> so like gonna, is he gonna do the iconic shrug? Probably. <laughs> and then there's Chunky. Smash Bros. Taunt. <laughs> he's dead. Then Michael Richardson. He's there too. Doesn't he? He plays Kamek, if I'm not yeah, wrong. Some, yeah. Spike. Yes. Well, Kamek. Spike? I think he plays Kamek. Yes. Plays Kamek? Uh, Kevin oh. Michael Richardson. He's he plays Kamek. I'm not. I'm uh... sure. Do you guys know Kevin Michael Richardson? Oh. Not much. No, but probably recognize his voice. He's mainly a voice actor. He he was uh he was in Invincible recently. Oh, I'm not sure if you Invincible. That. I haven't I watched it yet. Uh, he was with the Mahler twins. He was. I'm not sure if you guys watched this either. He was the Joker in the Batman, the 2004 TV no, show. No, I didn't watch that. Uh, he's he's any really any cartoon you can think of. He's probably okay. In. Well, that's good to have for Kamek because he Kamek really needs a like a mysterious, almost cackly voice. Yeah, a little bit like mm. Joker if they're gonna talk a bit. Yeah. Do you have you heard his his Joker voice is interesting. I like it because I grew up on it, but it's not for everyone. Mm-hmm. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Honestly, the last three they showed were like, as I we promise you, don't worry, they're going to be actual voice actors in this in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't hurt us. I think yeah. another one then, that also surprised me was uh, Toad is going to be voiced by uh, Keegan Michael Key. Oh, oh my gosh, why are we even? I completely forgot. <laughs> that I forgot to bring him up. I'm so sorry. So is Toadette going to be uh, Peel? <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember that. I don't know his first name. But you get Key and Peel, you yeah. know? You get, get them both back. Toad and Toadette. Why? I guess because those guess. two are kind of a duo, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm surprised the yeah, other hasn't they're, shown they're, up. Yeah. To be Burn fair, deal. Keegan Michael Key has kind of exploded, whereas his partner, not so much. Doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Doesn't he make oh. movies now? Or am I wrong? Uh, he, I think he, I think he's still mostly known for YouTube stuff because that's where they started. I think. Yeah, uh, Jordan Peele. He made uh, Us and Get Out yeah. and Candyman. Oh, I had no idea. So, I had no idea. I thought he was... He's definitely certainly busy. Why didn't he toad in? Why wasn't it announced? <laughs> he's definitely busy making his next movie. <laughs> Without a Maybe. doubt. That's his voice work. You could get him in. Even as anyway. Blue Toad. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, like, the Blue Toad with glasses? <laughs> there you go. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Do you want to be the very best... Like no one ever was. Check out Pokenerds and use the code SwitchClicks for five percent off your entire order. Gotta collect them all. I think next up we start our the first of two fun little games, right? The first one being who's Charles Martinet gonna play? Because they said he's gonna play someone, but it's a mystery role. A mystery Who role. Who do you think it's gonna be? Probably gonna be yeah. the narrator. Ooh, the narrator. That's a good oh. guess. Oh, Who else is Char- Charles a good I'm pretty I sure say... he's a good, like, regular English voice, right? I've never, I've never uh, heard I've much really of heard his. Him outside of Mario I've stuff. never heard much of his regular. Voice. He was in Skyrim. Oh, he was oh. a narrator in Runner Holy Three. God. Okay, and that was a good, like, uh, normal, like, narr- narrator voice. And Tyler brought up Tyler brought fun. up uh, Skyrim. He was Skyrim's. Uh, he was the, he was the dragon. He was a know. dragon. Yeah. Yeah, freaking dragon. Oh. I didn't know that. I just knew he was in <laughs> Dragon confirmed. Uh, I honestly, I'm expecting them to build it up, and it turns out he's like a Mario shaped man in the background that goes like Wahoo, and then Chris Pratt's like, "Bro, I don't say that anymore. I'm now cool Mario." <laughs> yeah, that's a total illumination <laughs> thing. Mario, you need to get cool. You're boring. Oh, oh, I I guess I am, and that's the. The crux of the movie is Mario's trying to be cool, but then everyone else around him is like, no, just go back to being Mario. Be who you are. Be yourself. Cue the most popular <laughs> pop star music at the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a very, that's very much a Illumination thing to do. Which I'm terrified of. And then of. it cuts in with a tape of celebrity to a random Mario character. Just see what happens. I think my first one would be... I think this is... My first one is a legitimate one that could even happen. Uh, they could mix uh, Daisy with uh, Zendaya. 
because she did some voice acting work in Ooh, yeah. Space Jam. Oh. What are your thoughts, Nathan? Um, crap, I honestly don't. I don't. I honestly don't have someone in mind. It's yeah. I actually don't have anyone in mind. You could easily Google most popular actors. You got Tom Hanks, Will Smith, Samuel L. Jackson, Robert Downey Jr. That's <laughs> Freeman. Yeah, that's <laughs> Morgan <true>. Freeman. <laughs> Who the heck would Morgan Freeman? Play? I would be. <laughs> Just throw a random any character, any character, and that's now Swamp. canon. So no. So pick- there you go. Morgan Freeman. Uh, you've already said it. No. You've already said it. Morgan Freeman. You said, you said Morgan Freeman. You got unfortunate. <laughs> then Keanu Reeves is going to voice uh, King okay. Babam. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, that's that's tough. Then. Wait, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> you Hugh keep Jackman? his Australian oh, no. accent, and he's going to be one of the boomerang buddies. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow! Just make an Australian <gasps> oh joke, and that's the only line. Yeah, but that's the writing that uh, that uh, Illumination would go for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, if you can't think of one, Nathan, just give me a celebrity. I don't even. I don't even know Anyone. who to choose from. That's that's the problem. <sighs> just think of like a Marvel actor think or something. Marvel, Hollywood, think of a, if you think will. of a Tom Holland Marvel actor. <laughs> Tom Holland. <laughs> <laughs> you would totally. Oh, okay. That's... Who the hell would okay, Tom Holland okay. play? He'd play one of the uh, mm. the Bowser kids, Koopa kids. Ooh, the Koopa kid. Well, I'm gonna get to the Koopa kids later. Don't you worry. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I could just skip to it now. You might as well do it. Do it. Might as well. There's all eight right, of them. All right. So plus plus Koopa my idea is you you use all the. It's easy. You just use the music people that they're based off of, right? So you have Roy Orbison. Oh, he's dead. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, so Roy, uh, Roy, Roy, Idris Elba. There you go. There you go. Idris Elba is now okay, Roy. Okay, fair enough. He popped. He's alive. So now he's Iggy. Larry oh, Kilmeister. Anyway, he's dead, unfortunately. <laughs> so Lemmy's now Tom Holland. <laughs> Wendy o. Williams. She also died. Oh, That's rip. unfortunate. Pink. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Pink is now playing Wendy. Ludwig von Beethoven unfortunately passed away. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh heck yeah! Uh, Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch. Um, <laughs> Orton Koopa is based off of Paul Stanley. He's still alive, so keep him. And Larry Mullen Jr. is also still alive. There you go. All the Koopa oh kids. Gosh. I think I want to see. Actually, I didn't get Benedict not even Jr. as a joke. I want to see Danny DeVito as Wario, and then like oh, I don't know, yes. like. Liam Neeson or like somebody else as uh, Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Neeson of uh... Liam Neeson, just a deep voice Waluigi. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say that name. What the uh, heck? Who the heck would be Yoshi though? Okay, Vin Diesel. Yoshi? Vin Diesel is Yoshi. <laughs> Vin Diesel Yoshi. Yoshi. Okay, but then we have Birdo. Birdo. Who's, Who's the love Birdo? interest? Well, in I Fast heard six or whatever. Yeah, it was a love interest. Um, I don't remember. I don't watch those movies. Uh, F- Ooh, I, F-10. Uh, there's. I, I cannot remember her name. Anyway, let's just go Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> I think I stole that from a donkey video, but it's fine. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's my here's here's an inspired idea. I've already told Dakota about this, but Nathan hasn't heard it. All right. So, end of the movie. They kill Bowser. He falls in the lava and he does the thumbs up pose like in Terminator. But as they're leaving, he comes out of the lava as Dry Bowser, now voiced by Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it's full of nonsense Terminator references that don't fit the tone of the movie at all. They close the gate at the front. They're like, he's never getting through. And then he goes through the bars like in Terminator 2, even though Arnold Schwarzenegger never did that. And he's made of bones, so it doesn't make sense. But who cares? It's animation. And then, I don't know, I don't, haven't watched enough Terminator to think of references, but then he has a shotgun. Let's say that. Maybe he just, like... Then they go back in time into the actual NES game, and boom. That's how the movie ends. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Then they kill him there, and he's, he's gone forever. Then, like, Jack Buck gets one more line, and boom, the movie ends. That's my theory. And if it comes true, I have no idea. If that is the correct ending, I, I'll, I'll give you $100. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> when it is i'll be expecting the 100 dollars. <laughs> thank you 
Thank you for joining us and discussing the casting announcement for the Mario movie releasing next holiday season. We'd love it if you could follow us on Twitter and listen to future episodes on Spotify and iTunes. Join our Discord for insight on future episodes, and we'll see you next time on the Switch Clicks podcast.